Dude, I just had to come up and shake your hand, man. This thing is wicked. Well done. Well done. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate you making the trip out. It means a lot to us. What's it got for a power plant? Uh, it's got a DD-15, what I call the Cybertronian Special Edition. Nice. I'll bet it sounds incredible on the open highway, huh? Actually, it kind of sounds like a lawnmower when he's driving. It's relatively quiet. <laughs> Do you, you have a minute? I want to show you our restoration, something we've been working on for a while. Yeah, sure. I'd love to see it. Take a look at that. It's a 1958 Packard Hawk. They don't even make these things anymore. It's got 289 cubic inch VA, 275 horsepower with a Stromberg twin barrel carburetor. Oh, wow. Really nice car, man. Very well done. Yeah, you know, it's been a lot of work getting to this point. It's been a ground up restoration. As a matter of fact, honey, honey, the book. Thank you. Love you. Here, let me, let me, let me just pull up a picture or two here. You're, you're going to love this. Here, here. Take a look at these pictures right here. So we're doing a frame-up restoration on this. We got it down a bare metal, we put it up on the rotisserie, bee blasted the entire thing and rebuilt it from the ground up. We got a brand new motor in there with training. When I tell you this thing purrs, it purrs. So far I've added an 8-cylinder V-style 3D9 with 40 bore over. It's got Ferraro valves on it with a compression ratio of 13 to 1 and a Jericho 4-speed drag transmission. I don't have a clue what any of that means, but it's really well done. Is it yours? Yeah, well that just means it's got some power to it, but that's not all. We're going to add a lot more this summer. I've got some Eagle Rods on order with a Steel Forge Crane Competition Cam and TCR Harmonic Balancer. We're also going to put in twin Edelbach carburetors with an aftermarket cross ram, chrome valve covers with a check valve breather, aluminum radiator which is going to have three cooling fans in this thing with strange spool axles and components. The rear axle is a 29 and a half inch polished lightweight ring and pinion gear set. It's also got a DP treated 1541 custom alloy to it, 28 spline pinion with a length of 29 and a half inches and a 400 inch bearing journal with 5x4 three quarter bolt pattern. Really appreciate you sharing it with me. It's a phenomenal car and I wish you the best of luck with your build. And I do appreciate you coming to check out Optimus today. Thank you. But listen, I've taken up enough of your time. I see you got some people waiting. I just have one last question if you don't mind. You have an amazing piece of machinery here. You've done so much good with it. Now my kids, they couldn't make it this weekend and we live only about three hours south of here. I know you're headed north. It's not in your direction. But I was wondering if at all possible, would you mind driving south just those three hours away to show it to my kids in the neighborhood? I know they would all really appreciate it.